What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're gonna to take a look at the KO Transformers MP44 Optimus Prime. So this is the third version that we've gotten of the KO, and this one is touted as the silver-legged version because obviously, you know, painted silver legs. The rest of the figures is relatively unpainted. We'll talk about all the, you know, what's painted, what's not. We'll also talk about the differences. That's the main purpose of this review today, is to point out differences between this figure and the the real MP44 version of Optimus Prime. I'm not going to do a versus or comparison with other MP44s. First of all, I don't have the other MP44s, but what we will do is put some images up. So let's just do that now. We'll put up an image of the original MP44 Optimus Prime, so you can kind of see the difference. Primary differences are that all these red surfaces are just a plastic color, not painted red. The arms have the yellow translucent versus the red translucent right here. The legs, instead of being painted white, are painted this silver paint. It actually looks really nice. The waist piece is not painted yellow anymore. They're just using yellow plastic, which is nice because now it's not going to get uh, damaged when you articulate it. The original MP44, this paint would scrape off. And then going down to the bottom here, you do still have the gray paint on the toes, but the legs are all unpainted blue plastic, just a matte blue versus the blue on the original MP44. Uh, let's put up the KO MP44. So comparing to that, the only difference between this and that original KO, as far as paint is concerned, is the silver here on the legs. Other than that, everything is the same. Also, these gas cans are also painted silver, by the way. forgot to mention that. Um, but other than that, everything is pretty much the same except for the eyes. So the eyes are painted this baby blue. So you can see that. The original KO, you can see there, had the translucent eyes. I don't know why they went with the translucent eyes, but they did. So that kind of made them look a little funny. So I like that they painted this one, uh, this, this color versus the, the translucent. So that's really it for differences. Now we can get into, I just wanted to give you that. Somebody had asked about differences between this and the original MP44 and the KO. So moving on, uh, some of the differences, he does come with all of the accessories that we got with the original KO MP44. I am going to show them all, so we'll go one by one and actually show them installed on him so you can kind of see how they look. So there he is with his jetpack. This has a painted gray for the boosters, and then the rest is just a flat red plastic. It does oh, does fit in. He ends, it ends up pushing the button. We are going to go through the voices on this guy because the voice box is different from the original. There, there are some changes, so we are going to talk about that and we're going to show that. But that jetpack looks pretty good. There he is with the battle damaged Optimus head from the movie. Um, if you lift this up, you can see it's got that painted neck underneath. I can't remember if the MP44 had that or not. I'll try to find the image of the neck from MP44, but that's nice that they painted that. That's just a good attention to detail. They did change the design here. So on the original, you would pull this blue piece out and that's how you would replace the heads on these. They are super duper tight. They're not getting them out of there. So they basically just gave you the ball joint mount on every head. So you basically just pull the head off the ball joint. So you want to be careful with that, but either way, really good looking head sculpt for that battle damage. And then there's that rounder face from maybe the first season. Obviously, you know, my preference is the head that was on there to begin with, but again, they've done a really nice job. With and there's his Starscream head and intakes. That looks really good. It fits just fine. There's no really problems. All of these heads are nice and tight. They, they did a good job with the ball joint. I'd imagine if you keep taking them off and putting it on, eventually it is going to loosen up. But so far, so good. All of the heads work really well and they all look good. They're all painted nicely. All right, there he is with his axe. It looks like a little too bright here, but it is orange. It is the same color, nice translucent orange. It does rotate. It has the same issue. If you rotate it too far down, it comes off. Same as the original, but it looks nice and it works the exact same way as the original. Looks good. And his final accessory, of course, is his blaster. I'm just noticing that he is missing a little bit of silver paint right here. 
not a big deal. It's still a really nice looking blaster, but it is, it is, it has the silver paint, gray paint, but it does missing the silver paint here on the uh, back. But either way, it looks good. Now you do get blast effects just like you did with the original. The difference being that these light up. So we'll have to get the lights turned off here, but these do fit in the end just like they did before. And then if, let's just turn off some lights here. And you can see that you push it in and it really lights up nice and bright. It looks really cool. And you get two of these. So if you want to use them in the jetpack, you can plug them in there. And then you can have double blast effects in there and he can look like he's taking off. So those are really nice. I really appreciate them including that. That's a good feature. All right, now let's take a look at the voice box on this guy. And there is a little bit of a surprise here. So first of all, instead of Japanese sayings, you have Chinese sayings. And it does come in the off position. So here's the switch right there. You just push it from down to up. And then on this side is the button to activate the voice. So you're gonna hear the Chinese voice actor, or maybe it's not even the voice actor, maybe it's just somebody saying Optimus words in Chinese. I don't know the answer to that. So you get a whole bunch of Chinese voices, but you can hear in the background that they've got the actual show, the, the music and the soundtrack from the show. The same is true for the English voices. So you just hold this button down and it'll switch to English. So that means it's switched and now you're here. Again, it is Peter Cullen, but it's got the cartoon, music from the cartoon and the sound effects from the cartoon. All right, now let's go to the articulation of this guy. Before I take the gun out of here, I just want to note that he does hold it fine, but as soon as you start articulating things, it starts getting loose. Um, so he does end up letting go eventually, but I don't think there's any difference from the original. The original also had that problem. The main issue is this tab is just too long, um, which was true on the original as well. The tab was just too long. And so he ends up kind of losing his grip. Now you do can close the fingers around it, but it has the same exact issue that we had with the original MP44. So let's uh, let's talk about the articulation. So the head is on a ball joint. But it also has this neck joint. Um, that's pretty much all works the same. So you can lift up that neck joint up to there so it can get really far down. You can get up to there, rotates all the way around, nice and tight. Although I'm, I'm a little worried about taking these heads off and uh, loosening them up over time. These uh, ears do rotate and I don't remember the original one rotating. I thought I remember it actually being still when it came in the box It was like that and so you just had to straighten them up So I like being able to rotate them to whatever angle I like But I just remember the original did not rotate Continuing down you do have a rotation at the shoulder really nice Ratchet there high I can feel it the, fe the quality feels really good there's a, of course, the butterfly joint gets you all the way out to there. So there's a joint here, and then there's a joint in here that bends in and out, all nice and tight. The plastic does feel a little bit different than the original, but it does feel good. I don't feel any issues with it. Rotation at the bicep, that feels really good, nice and tight. You have a ratcheted elbow, which is new. That was not ratcheted before. It was just a friction joint. Really nice, tight ratchet, and it, and it works well. No issues with that. Rotation at the wrist. Same hands as before. You have individually articulated fingers on two pins. So one in the middle of the finger and one at the base. And then the thumb is on this rotation joint there. Uh, which is all exactly the same as the original. 
continuing down here, you have the exact same, you know, locks in. So if you unlock it here, you kind of kind of pull it up a little bit to unlock it. Now you can rotate this waist all the way around. You can get ab crunch all the way down. If you want to get an extreme ab crunch, you can pull it off that joint a little bit more. And then back, it's all nice and tight there. He will hold a pose, so that all works. And it does clip in and lock in, so if you want to hide away that joint, you can do that. That all works just as you would expect. He does not come with a Autobot logo. I forgot to mention that earlier. Unfortunately, in the box, there was no Autobot logo. There's no plastic piece or sticker. You gotta put your own sticker on there. In fact, I'll probably put the sticker on before the end of the review because he just looks so strange without that Autobot logo, but I wanted to mention that. Continuing down here, you do have the same leg auto-morphing feature. Unfortunately, it gets stuck, so you do have to open this side hip skirt. Once you do that, the leg auto, you know, it pushes that uh, hip skirt out of the way. Nice tight joint, holds pretty good, goes all the way back to there. It has the hip skirt back here that moves out of the way. That's pretty nice and tight. Out to the side, that's a really tight joint. That's not going anywhere, that's an extremely tight joint. So all really nice quality ratchets. I just noticed, the only, the only difference I noticed here is it doesn't automatically move this hip skirt out of the way. You kind of just got to move it and then it'll, then it'll rotate. Um, I've I've moved these quite a bit and you can see there's no scratching so the paint appears to be pretty good but we'll see how that holds up over time. Continuing downwards you do have the double jointed knee, the dreaded double jointed broken knee. This one does not break so it's got a really hard ratchet on the top of the knee and then it's got a soft ratchet which you can barely hear. Let me try to be quiet. Uh, it, it's such a tight ratchet, it does end up sometimes making this leg split and come apart like that. And the original had that issue as well, you know, didn't really tab in all that secure. I don't know if there is something, I gotta contact my buddy Sam from Bots and Bits and ask him, is there a fix for this? In fact, hopefully he watches this video, but I know there's probably a fix to get that to stay a little bit better. Um, but speaking of, I forgot about the rotation at the thigh. That is really nice and tight. Really well done. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've bent this knee multiple times. I, at first I thought it was breaking because it was silent, but it's just really quiet. That lower ratchet is quiet, the top ratchet is loud. And the knee works the same, the knee can be posed up and down as you see fit. So, but I, I've bent this multiple times just to make sure it's not gonna break. And both knees appear to Rotate and so they've fixed that problem, which is very very nice. I'm happy about that That's actually the main reason I purchased this was to fix that knee problem I do have ankle tilt really nice and tight all the way out to there and of course you get the ratcheted Foot it goes down to there up to there and then the toe the toe itself will angle right here, so all of that same articulation you got but except some slightly better quality ratchets than what we got on MP44 and for a quick size comparison, there is the KO MP44 next to the official MP36 Megatron, the Transform Element Optimus Prime, and the Takara Tome Blue Streak. Obviously it fits in perfect size, you know, it's a copy of the original, so of course it's going to fit in. And I just want to show this, we are going to get him transformed into his vehicle mode. We're not going to show that on camera, I have a full video on the transformation. So if you need help or you're interested in the transformation on this guy, you can go ahead and check out that video. I'll put that at the end of this one, and I'll also put a little card so you can click on that if you're interested in that transformation. But we're going to get him transformed off camera, and we'll be right back. And there you have the... KO Prime in his truck mode and pretty decent, very similar to the original MP44. In fact, let's just put that over here so you can take a look. Primary differences are the bumper and the grille are not chrome, they're just painted silver so you can see all painted silver. The uh, rear view mirrors are also painted silver and I can't remember if these are chrome or not, I think they are, so these are painted silver here as well. So everything that was chrome is now painted silver. I think it actually looks pretty nice. Uh, at first I thought these pieces here might be die cast, 
still not even sure, but I, I think they're just plastic. It just feels like die cast. So um, looks a lot like the original other than just using silver instead of chrome. And for a quick comparison, there it is next to the Transform Element Optimus Prime. It's pretty interesting how close these guys are, at least on the front of the cab. Once you get to the back, everything's totally different. But it does look good. We obviously with this the scale, it's gonna fit in with your masterpiece. It's the same as MP44, but I didn't want to show that. So final thoughts on the KO Optimus Prime. Let's start with the positives. I really like the addition and the quality of all of the ratchets, especially the elbows, the arms, and the legs, and the knees. Those are all really well done. We don't have the knee problem anymore. That's a huge advantage for me personally. Uh, I really hated messing with the official because you always felt like you're gonna break it. So otherwise, uh, you do have some nice paint on this particular version of the KO. You got the silver paint, you got the nice paint on the head. Head sculpt looks really good. Obviously it's a copy, but you know, they've done the paint correctly this time. And also I like the inclusion of the yellow for the arms. And all of the accessories and the details on this guy look good. There's nothing that really looks, you know, that it's cheap or anything like that. On the negatives wise, there are a couple. So these legs still come apart. That's always been an issue. On the official, it was an issue, but this is even worse than the official in terms of just keeping these together. You end up kind of squeezing them together just to keep them, keep them from popping apart. Uh, otherwise than that, the unpainted red surface, it looks fine, but it might look out of place with other Masterpiece figures because it's not painted. So you just have to keep that in mind. Uh, but overall, I definitely recommend this figure. Uh, it's it's great to have a, a MP44 to mess around with and to just be able to transform and pose and do whatever you need to do without worrying about breaking a very expensive $450 or $320, whatever you paid, figure. Right At, at a $100 price point, this is well worth the, the, price, the money. And it works, and it really is fun, and it looks good on the shelf and in a display. So highly recommend it if you can find him. I did get this from Baba Bobo. Uh, unfortunately, Toy Dojo, my channel partner, doesn't carry this. So you can buy this uh, from Baba Bobo's website. 100, 100, I think it's $105 shipped. Uh, pretty good deal. That's really it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.